happy Monday. We are going to get started seated today, so if you want to make your way there, feel free to do that. I'm actually gonna move some stuff here quickly so I can make sure I can see my clock. All right, so we are going to get started seated. As always, you can grab your prop, blanket, blanket, pillow, towel, place it underneath the sits bones if you need a little extra added support, if we're having knee sensitivities, anything like that. Always the option to keep one or both legs extended. All right, so we will get started. Allow the hands to relax, palm down on the knees, or they can land in the lap, whatever feels comfortable for you today. Allow the eyes to close or find that nice soft gaze, whatever you prefer. Maybe take a couple motions, rock side to side, rock forward and back. Maybe take a couple torso circles, just really feel your sits bones settle into the earth, coming to stillness when you find that nice neutral position, the crown of the head reaches up nice and tall, the spine feels nice and long, but we're not exuding too much effort. Take a couple deep breaths, allow yourself to settle into the space. Nice slow inhales, nice long exhales, allow yourself to relax and settle, ground into the here and now, allow the belly to be soft. Allow the jaw to soften, the eyelids to soften, the cheeks, allow the tongue to be nice and heavy. Allow the shoulder, shoulder blades to relax down and back away from the ears. Feel your sits bones beautifully rooted. Maybe take a moment, notice the quality of the air, the air around you. If it feels warm or cool. Maybe take a moment to notice any sensation in the palms and the fingertips, the gentle warmth of your palms relaxing down onto your knees. Continue with your lovely slow inhalations and exhalations. With each inhale, imagining yourself growing a little bit taller, the spine growing taller and all around. With each exhale, settling, rooting down into your seat. more slow deep breaths just like this allowing the breath to fill you up completely and exhaling completely feeling the navel draw in toward the spine releasing all of that old stagnant air awesome take a moment check in with your heart space ask yourself how are you feeling today does your internal weather match the weather outside, whatever that looks like for you. Are you feeling stormy, nice and sunny? Are you somewhere in the middle? Allow your attention to settle on that heart space. And check in, no judgment, no need to change or fix. Just check in, ask yourself, how am I feeling today? check in with your mind. Notice the quality of your thoughts on this early Monday afternoon. Taking a moment to simply check in with the thoughts, noticing how they feel for you right now. Take a couple rounds of breath and let that be as it is, whatever that means for you. Settling into this beautiful, delicious breath. Settling into the here and the now. With 
beautiful. At this point in time, we can begin incorporating our lovely three-part deer yoga breath. Right hand can find the low belly, left hand can land on the heart space. And the deer yoga breath is completed in three parts. Inhale. As you inhale, gently feel the belly pressing outward into the body. Allow the breath to fill up the belly. Allow the breath to move upward into the rib cage. Notice the intercostal muscles lifting and expanding, healing. Allow the breath to finally move all the way up into the chest and the heart space. Feeling the clavicle rise, the chest rise underneath the left palm. Exhale completely, chest, ribs, belly. Move right back into the inhale. Inhale, belly, ribs, chest. Exhale, chest, ribs, and belly. Continue with the deer yoga breath if it feels comfortable for you today. Take maybe five full rounds of deer yoga breath. Allowing each inhale to fill you to completion. Allowing each exhale to ground you into this space. The breath is a very powerful tool. The quality of the mind often imitates and follows the quality of the breath. So we take just a few moments to slow down the breath. Maybe one more full deer to breath. And exhale, let that go. Awesome. Take a moment, place hands at heart center. Create a personal intention for your practice today. A word or a phrase. Anything that you feel like you may need at this point in time. Anything you may feel like you may be lacking. Anything that you may, may need to feel whole. Or complete. Don't overthink it. Allow yourself to settle on this intention. You may feel what that means for you today. Allow your intention to fill you up completely. Take one more slow inhale. Nice long exhale, you can release that intention out into the universe, allow the hands to relax, palm down onto the knees. We'll begin with some beautiful shoulder rolls. You can keep the eyes closed or gently allow them to open at this point in time. Take a nice slow inhale, squeeze the shoulders up toward the ears. Exhale, audibly off the mouth with a sigh, allow the shoulder blades to melt down. Take up more yogas, inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhale up, exhale release. We'll do a couple more in the opposite direction. So inhale, squeeze the shoulders back up and around if you were rolling them forward the first time. Exhale, allow them to melt down. Inhale up. So just rolling the shoulders in both directions, rolling in whatever direction you weren't rolling before. One more, inhaling up, squeezing at the top, exhaling to let it go. Awesome. Hands can stay relaxed. Gently palm down on the knees. We'll do some beautiful cat cows. Open up our spine. So for our cow, gently arch the back, crack open the heart space, kind of pull the elbows in toward the center line of the body. As we inhale, head looks up. Gaze finds the ceiling. Exhale, round the back. Arms lengthen, chin tucks toward the chest. For our cat, inhale for cat. Looking up, shining that heart space forward. Exhale, round, release. Move with the breath, inhaling for cow. Exhaling for cat. Gently feeling the weight shift between the sits bones here. Take maybe one more, one more cat and one more cow. Move with the breath, really finding something juicy and enjoyable about this gentle motion. 
When you're all done, we'll inhale, come back up to center, and exhale, let that motion go. Awesome. Take your left hand, allow it to land gently on the right knee, crossing it over the body. We're gonna take our right hand, inhale the right hand up toward the sky, the gaze can follow the fingertips if the neck is feeling nice and open today. Inhale, grow nice and tall. Expansion in the right side body. Exhale, fold forward. Right hand crosses over the left, finds the left knee, round. Tuck the chin toward the chest. Inhale, right hand stays where it is. Left hand is going to reach up toward the sky, rotating the chest up to the left. Nice expansion in. The left side body as we reach up through the fingertips. Inhale, exhale, round and release. Left hand crosses over the right. Continue with this motion at your own pace, inhaling one arm up, exhaling to cross and round. Extended seated side stretch. There's a little bit of a cat cow motion here. It's the side stretch as well. So as you reach those fingertips up, really find that expansion in the side body. Take one more on each side, gradually reaching up through those fingertips, exhaling and rounding. Take one more on either side. Maybe closing the eyes and allowing yourself to drop even deeper. Last time, your chin tucks toward your chest. Exhale completely. Inhale, gently unwind the arms. Rise back up, grow nice and tall. Great. All right, we'll come into bound angle, so uncross the legs. Maybe take a moment, extend the legs long. They've been tucked in for a minute here, so shake it out. Wiggle out the knees, point to flex those feet, roll out the ankles. Just notice your feet, notice how they're feeling. All right, we'll bend the knees, come into bound angle, so allow the soles of the feet to touch. Ankles can be as close or as far from your body as you like. Always the option to grab onto any props, any blocks, blankets, pillows, towels, and place them underneath the knees. If we want that little extra added support. All right, allow the hands to relax down. Inhale, grow nice and tall. Crown of the head reaches up. Exhale, hinge forward. Heart leads the way. Hinging forward only as far as you feel comfortable today. No need to push or strain. Breathing, sending the breath to this beautiful hamstring stretch. These oh, I'm sorry, hip, the stretch in the hip flexors, H words. <laughs> All right, take full and complete rounds of breath here in a soft belly. With each, each inhale, creating length in the spine, crown of the head reaching up nice and tall with each exhale, maybe hinging a little deeper. Take one more full round of breath wherever you are. On your next inhale, use your nice strong core. Rise back up to the top. Exhale, gently use your hands, guide your knees closed, and we'll extend the legs out long one more time. All right, you can shake that out. Shake it out, roll out the ankles for another second. Say hello to those feet. We'll come into supine spinal twist. Supine spinal twist. We're gonna be doing a lot of lovely twists today to, de to detoxify our internal organs. All right, so legs are extended long. The left leg is going to stay where it is. The right leg is going to bend, going to cross it over the left leg. So the sole of the right foot plants on the outside edge of that left leg, left knee. All right, take your left hand. Squeeze your knee in toward your chest. Grow nice and tall. Crown of the head reaches up nice and tall. Beautiful tall, tall long spines. We always want to have nice long spines before we enter any sort of twist. All right, we're going to inhale the right arm up to shoulder height. Nice tall, beautiful spines. As we exhale, begin rotating toward that right leg, rotating to the right. The hand sweeps around behind us. Right hand sweeps around behind us and lands anywhere on the earth, anywhere on the earth. We're actively squeezing our right knee in toward our chest. You can look out over your right shoulder if you'd like. You can, if you want to intensify the stretch, 
Take your left hand, bend that arm coming into a half cactus arm, and press the left elbow into right below the right kneecap, gently pressing to intensify the this twist. Breathe, have a nice soft belly. With each inhale, crown of the head reaches up tall, nice tall spines with each exhale, maybe twist a little deeper. Detoxifying, massaging our ascending colon as we twist to the right. Take one more full round of breath. Exhale, gently unwind, rotating back to center, nice and slow, take your time. Release that right leg long. And we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. So bend your left leg, crossing it over. Sole of that foot plants on the outside edge of our right knee. Squeeze that left knee in toward the chest with the right arm. This time with the right arm. Inhale, left arm up to the sky, or to shoulder height, sorry. Exhale, twist to the left, twisting, rotating, rotating toward that left bent leg. Left hand relaxes on the earth. When you feel like you can't twist anymore, you can peek out over that left shoulder. Right foot stays nice and active. Always the option to bend that right arm, gently pressing into the left leg, pressing the elbow into the left leg to intensify the twist. Breathe here. Notice how the breath shifts differently throughout the torso in our twist, massaging the descending colon here. Getting out all of that junk, clearing ourselves out for the week. Take one more full round of breath. Exhale, unwind, gently, gently unwind. Coming back to center, you can extend that left leg long. Awesome, we're going to sweep the legs to one side, roll over the knees, coming into our first table of the day. Hands land underneath the shoulders, knees underneath hips. All right, nice flat back. Always the option to come up onto fists if wrists are sensitive today, or to throw a prop underneath the knees. All right, we'll begin taking some beautiful table circles. So just begin rotating your torso in a nice big circle in one direction. Inhaling as you reach up over the wrists, exhaling as the sits bones drop back toward the heels. You can maybe incorporate some cat cows here, a little cat cow motion, arching and rounding the back. Next time your sits bones are toward your heels, make sure you switch directions. We just want to make sure we even ourselves out here. Nice big circles in one direction, just opening opening up the shoulders, the hips, and the spine. Take one more nice big circle. <sighs> Exhale and come back to center, coming back to stillness. Awesome, we're gonna come into thread the needle. So make sure your um, left hand is planted directly underneath your left shoulder. We're going to inhale, reach the right arm up toward the sky. Reach up, look up at those fingertips. Exhale, thread the needle, drawing the right arm in between the space, between the left wrist and knee, allowing the right shoulder to drop all the way down, right cheek lands. Breathe here. Notice if you're dumping all of your weight into either hip. If you'd like, you can play around with arm variations. Play around with that left arm by walking those fingertips forward, extending that hand, the arm long, keeping the hand flexed down onto the earth. You can inhale the left arm up, reaching toward the sky. Maybe exhale, wrap the left hand around the low back, coming into a gentle bind. If you want to play around with the legs here, you can gently shift your weight into your right knee and extend the left leg up toward the sky, pointing that foot, nice active glute. So whatever you want to do, no need to push or strain. If you feel better with, the, with both legs grounded, then just play around with the arms. 
wherever you are breathing. Take three more full rounds of breath. And if you want to thread the needle, whatever that looks like for you. Nice soft belly, feeling this gentle twist, gentle rotation in the spine. Inhale and exhale. If the leg is lifted, gently lower it, allowing it to land underneath the hip. Allow the left hand to plant uh, right in front of the face. Inhale. Exhale, press into your left fingertips to rise all the way up back to center. Awesome. Take a full round of breath. Noticing how your sides might feel a little different. Awesome. Inhale, the left arm up this time, reaching the left fingertips up actively. Exhale, thread the needle through. Left hand threads between the space between the right wrist and the right shoulder. Left shoulder drops, left cheek drops. Play around with the arm variations. Walking the right arm forward, inhaling it up, maybe wrapping it around the whole back. Using that nice soft belly, full belly breaths if we want to introduce the leg, we can gently shift our weight into our left knee and lift the right leg off of the earth. If we're doing this, being very mindful that we're not dumping all of our weight into our right hand for support. Breathing wherever we are. Maybe three to five more full rounds of breath. Trying to be okay with yourself wherever you are right now. Inhale and exhale if that right leg is lifted, gently lower it. Allow the right hand to plant directly in front of the face if it's not there already. Take a nice slow inhale. Exhale, press into that right hand to come up into a neutral table. Beautiful. Allow the leg, I'm sorry, knee spread wide, big toes touch. Sink it back, child's pose. Arms extend long, forehead relaxes down onto the floor or a prop. Breathe here. Nice soft belly, maybe expanding the breath into the low back or wherever else it may be needed. Expanding the breath into the hip space. Gently, gently, gently pushing the glutes back toward the heels. Carrying the retainer. These beautiful flat spines. Well, gentle rounds between the spine as well as flat. Breathing. Maybe reconnecting to that personal intention as you relax down onto the earth. Beautifully supported. Awesome. Take a nice slow inhale. Nice long exhale. On your next inhale, we'll lift up back into our table, preparing for a down dog. Inhale and tuck the toes. Exhale, lift up. Lifting the knees, lifting the hips, coming into our very first down dog of the day. Before we begin pedaling, just play around. Notice if you feel nice and stable in your dog. As always, a little trick to see if your hands are far away enough from your feet. Shift forward into plank. Shifting forward into plank will tell you that your hands and your feet are in a good spot if your hands don't move. If you'd like, you can begin introducing some motion if you feel nice and stable in your dog, walking or pedaling your dog by bending one knee and driving the opposite nail toward the earth. Nice 
being mindful that all knuckles are suction cupped down onto the mat. The inside edges of the elbows, so the eyes of the elbows, rotated in toward one another. The bends or the creases of the elbows rotating away to protect our shoulders. Actively pressing the hips up as we drive down through the heels. Take a couple more rounds of breath here, very first down dog of the day. Inhale, slowly exhale, walk the feet in toward the hands, coming into ragdoll, feet land underneath the hips, hang. Hang here. Maybe sway side to side. Grabbing onto your elbows or interlacing fingers behind the head. Whatever feels best for you today. Maintaining that slight micro bend in the knees. Breathe. Let's take one more nice slow inhale. Hold and complete exhale as you allow your body to come to stillness. Gently increase the bend of the knees and as you roll up, inhale. Nice and slow, roll up nice and slow, rebuilding the spine. Head in line last. Take a moment, hands at heart center, reconnect to that intention. And find that personal intention again. Allow yourself and your mind to settle on that intention as you feel the blood flow downward you notice all four corners of your feet. As you take your first full rounds of breath standing today. Beautiful. Inhale and exhale. You can let that go. Awesome. We'll come into one-legged Merval Mountain. I haven't done this in a while, so you might be laughing at me as I fall all over the place, and that's okay. That's okay. That's what we're here for, right? Okay. <laughs> So we should be, all right. So we're going to shift our weight into our left leg first. So we're rotating to the right in our Rolf Mountain. So shift your weight into your left leg by tapping the toes of the right foot. Ooh, I just lost my balance just there. <laughs> so, sorry, this is a balancing posture. So if you need a wall chair or anything like that, um, feel free to move in that direction now, but we're shifting our weight onto our left leg, tapping the toes of the right foot. When we feel nice and stable here, we're going to inhale the knee up to hip height, keeping our right foot nice and flexed, finding our balance here. Find that drishti, fixated point to stare at, beautiful for concentration. When we feel stable here, we're going to inhale the arms up to shoulder height, actively pressing out through the fingertips as we squeeze our shoulder blades together. Awesome. Inhale, grow nice and tall. As you exhale, rotate toward that right leg, rotating the torso to the right. If this is too much for you, you can simply keep that right foot lifted. If we can rotate, making sure we're, again, actively reaching out through those fingertips. Nice soft belly rotating to the right making all adjustments in balance in the small minute muscles of the ankles and the feet and our left foot. Breathing wherever we are, take maybe three more full rounds of breath if we're in the full expression of the posture, keeping that right foot nice and active, nice and lifted. Inhale. Grow nice and tall. Exhale, rotate back to center. Nice and slow. Inhale and exhale, gently release that right foot down. Take a moment, close the eyes. Hands find heart center. Feel that left foot. Notice the difference between the feet. Beautiful, you can let that go. Shake up the legs, shake them up. Nice. All right, 
right, shift your weight into your right leg. Shift your weight into your right leg. Tap the toes of the left foot a couple times. Find that nice, beautiful stabilization there. It can be really hard to rotate in this posture because we're moving our drishti, which can be can cause a lot of people to lose balance. So if you find that to be real difficult for you, don't, don't need to judge, just be mindful. All right, so if we're feeling nice and stable, lift that um, left knee up to hip height, keeping your left foot nice and flexed. Exhale, settle into this. Inhale the arms up to shoulder height. Exhale, if we feel stable here, twist, 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 moving your drishti slowly to maintain that balance. Again, finding your drishti once you've twisted to the left, toward that left leg. Take maybe five full rounds of breath here. Breathing fully and completely. Maintaining a micro wind in our right leg. Keeping our left foot nice and active. One more full round of breath. Exhale, unwind, nice and slow, nice and slow, unwinding. Inhale, and exhale, release the left leg. Releasing the hands. Hands find heart center. Take a full round of breath. Beautiful, shake it out. Shake it out, letting that go. Always feels really particularly nice to me to like shake out my legs after balancing postures, I don't know why. All right, find the top of your mat if you're not there already. Inhale, sweep the arms up, out and around. Fingertips reach toward the sky. Exhale, exhale, fold forward. Nice flat back, swan dive down. We'll inhale, halfway lift, and slide up the shins, coming to the knees, nice flat back. Exhale, release. Play with the hands as you inhale. Exhale, step back to down dog. Take a couple rounds of breath here. Maybe walking or pedaling out your dog. Breathing. Gently stretching out the hamstrings and the strong leg muscles that just did so much for us. Come to stillness and take a full round of breath in your down dog. Beautiful. Bend your right leg, gently lifting the sole of that foot off of the earth. Inhale. As you exhale, swing that leg through, planting it in between the hands and release the left knee down. Coming to low lunge on the right side, untuck those back left toes, making sure that left kneecap is firmly pointed into the earth. Before we inhale, walk the hands up to the knee and settle into your low lunge. Checking in with that knee, making sure it's not hyperextending over the right ankle. Making sure we're not dumping all of our weight into our hips or Pushing all of our weight forward, using our nice strong quad to lift. Find length in that side body as we inhale the arms up, biceps come next to the ears. Exhale, settle into your low lunge. Feeling a gentle psoas stretch in the left hip crease. Take a couple rounds of breath here. Inhale, reach the fingertips up. Exhale, release. If you want to come into a twist, we can release the left hand down underneath the shoulder and inhale the right arm up. Twisting to the right. Low lunge with the twist. So the left hand plants directly underneath the shoulder. You can always come up onto your fist. If you need a little bit more space or you can always grab a prop, place it underneath the shoulder. If you feel like you don't have enough space here, take maybe three more full rounds of breath wherever you are. You can look up at those right fingertips if you'd like. Inhale, 
exhale, gently unwind, both hands find that shoulder and rise up. Nice, strong core. Awesome. Hands are going to land on the hips. We're going to tuck those back left toes and lift up into warrior one. Lift up into warrior one. Foundations nice and strong. Back left heel can stay lifted or it can rotate down and that foot can face the long edge of the mat at about 45 degrees. Either way, hips nice and square toward the short edge of the mat. We'll inhale, arms up. Biceps next to the ears. If shoulders aren't feeling sensitive, if they are, they can always, hands can always stay on the hips. Exhale, release. Bend into that right leg. We're only gonna take about three full rounds of breath here. So enjoy this brief warrior one, nice strong core. Inhale and exhale. If that left heel is lifted, allow it to rotate down, opening the hips up to the left, coming into warrior two. Check in with your feet, make sure you're in a nice, beautiful line. The right heel is in line with either the hip, or the, or, I'm sorry, the heel or the arch of the, of the back foot. Hips so open nice and wide toward the left. Inhale, arms up to shoulder height. Exhale, bend into that right leg. Breathing here, only taking a couple rounds of breath here, maintaining that slight micro bend in the left leg. Squeezing the shoulder blades together. Take maybe two more full rounds of breath. You can look out over your right fingertips. Inhale and exhale, release. Releasing the arms, straightening that front leg. We're going to come into triangle, so walk that left foot in, right foot stays where it is. Walk that left foot in about six inches. About six inches. All right, we're going to rotate that left foot. So the foot is about at an angle at about 45 degrees to the long edge of the mat, allowing us to rotate our hips so that they're square toward that front right leg or the short edge of our mat. All right, we're going to inhale, grow nice and tall. As we exhale, maintain this beautiful length in our spine so the crown of the head reaches up. As we exhale, begin folding forward over our right leg, preparing for a revolved triangle. So this is kind of like a pyramid pose here. Kind of like a pyramid pose here. If you wanna stay here, this is beautiful. This is as far as you have to go. If you want to come into the full expression of our revolved triangle, we're going to maintain that beautiful length in the spine. So imagine the crown of the head growing long. Left hand is going to relax down onto the shin, onto the right shin. If we can, maybe even planting that left hand on the outside edge of that right foot. That's a little too difficult for me to do without a block, but if that's accessible for you with a block, go for it. So left hand relaxes down onto the right shin, and then we're going to rotate, rotate our our chest and our torso up to the right, lifting and extending our right arm up toward the sky, keeping a nice neutral neck, <sighs> maintaining a slight bend in both of the legs. Take maybe three full rounds of breath here. You can look up at your right fingertips if you'd like. Rotated triangle, so we're actively rotating our right rib cage up to the sky. Breathe here. Make sure you're not dumping all of your weight into that left hand. Inhale and exhale, unwind. Right hand relaxes down onto the shin. Take a full round of breath. We're going to maintain our nice flat backs using our nice Strong core, shoulder blades squeeze together to rise up as we inhale. Exhale, step to the top of the mat. Take a round of breath here. Hands find heart center. Breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Full rounds of breath. Awesome. 
We'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Inhale, sweep the arms up, out and around. Exhale, swan and dive down. Fold and forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands slide up the hand, up the shins, come to the knees, nice flat back. Exhale, fold. As you inhale, plant the hands. Exhale, step back to down dog. Take a round or two of breath here, walking it out, pedaling the feet. Take one more in the breath, nice soft belly. Soft jaw, soft brow, soft everything. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, coming to a little lunge on the opposite side. Took me a second there. <laughs> I was like, warrior one? No, little lunge. All right, so <clears throat> shift your weight onto your right leg. Bend your left leg. Inhale. As you exhale, swing that left leg through, planting the sole of the feet, the foot in between the hands. Lower that right knee down onto the earth, planting that right kneecap and untucking those right toes. When you feel nice and stable here, inhale, walk the hands up the knee. Exhale, settle into your low lunge, making sure you're engaging that quad, not just dumping all of your weight into your hips. So engage that left quad, feel a gentle stretch in the psoas and the right hip crease. Make sure you're not hyperextending over that left, uh, left ankle. Awesome, when you feel stable here, inhale, arms up, fingertips reach toward the sky. Exhale, settle into your low lunge. Breathing here. Inhale, reach the fingertips up toward the sky. If you want to come into our twist, we'll exhale, release the right hand down, allow the hand to plant on the earth underneath the right shoulder, and we'll inhale the left arm up toward the sky. Breathing here, rotating, looking up to the left, or maintaining a nice and neutral cervical spine. Our neck is feeling sensitive today. Be mindful if our knee is swaying up to the right or the left. Inhale. Exhale, release that left hand, left to relax it onto the knee, and allow the right hand to come up as well. All right, we're going to come up into warrior one. So tuck those back toes, inhale, nice and strong foundations as we lift up into our warrior one. Take a moment, make any adjustments you need, short and wide in your stance, anything like that. Option is always, right heel can be lifted, or that foot can be rotated down. Inhale the arms up to the side. Exhale, bend to that left leg. Being mindful of that knee, again, if our right heel is lifted, actively pressing out through that right heel. Nice activation in the glute. If that foot is rotated down, actively pressing out through the outer edge of our right foot. Take three full rounds of breath here. Nice strong core. Nice strong foundations. Inhale, grow nice and tall. Reach the fingertips up. Exhale, lower that heel, that right heel, if it was lowered already. Um, if it was up, if it's lowered already, simply opening the hips up to the right, taking a moment, making adjustments with our feet, making sure our left ankle is in line with either the arch or the heel of that right foot. We're in beautiful alignment. We can inhale, arms up to shoulder height. Exhale, bend into our left leg. Taking full rounds of breath here, expanding the chest actively by squeezing the shoulder blades together. Be mindful of this left knee as always. Taking full and complete rounds of breath. Filling yourself up with whatever you may need. Inhale, exhale, release the hands, straighten that left leg, and walk the right foot in about six inches. Rotate that foot, 
So it's at a 45 degree angle to the long edge of the mat, simultaneously shifting our hips, shifting our hips so that they are square toward the um, left leg. All right, we're going to inhale, grow nice and tall. Exhale, fold forward, maintain this beautiful length that we have on our spine. Fold forward toward your left foot. If this is as far as you wanna go, hang out here. Or you can even go to down dog, child's pose, anything like that. No need to push, okay? So maintain that beautiful length that we found in our spines. Right hand relaxes down anywhere onto the left shin. If we have blocks or we're feeling super flexy, flexible, stretchy, I just combine those two words, flexy, new word. All right, <laughs> if we're feeling super flexible, that right hand can relax down onto the, to the mat on the outside edge of that left foot. All right, if we wanna play with the rotation, maintain a slight micro bend in both legs as we rotate the chest up to the left, possibly extending the arm up as well. Looking up at those left fingertips or maintaining a nice neutral, neutral cervical spine. Actively rotating the left rib cage up toward the sky. Take three full rounds of breath here. Breathing in this twist. Inhale, nice and slow. Exhale, unwind. Left hand relaxes down. Take a full round of breath. Slight micro bend in the legs. Inhale, use your nice strong core. Shoulders squeeze together to rise up to the top. Awesome, inhale, exhale, step to the top of your mat. And spine heart center, breathe. Noticing all of, all of this space, fluidity that we've created in the torso by wringing out all of our old toxins, all of that old junk. Awesome. Inhale, sweep the arms up, out, and around. Exhale, fold forward, ragdoll. Hang out here for a round of breath, two. Sway. Simply hang and just allow your hamstrings that were doing so much for us, the hamstrings, the calves, the quads, the body to relax. Inhale, plant the hands under the shoulders. Exhale, step back, down dog. Very last down dog of the day. To find something you enjoy about it. Maybe cuddle up those feet if you want a little bit more intense. Or the hamstring stretch on either side. Maybe stay nice and stagnant. you prefer to do. Take maybe two or three more full rounds of breath. You're a beautiful down dog. Inhale. Exhale, release the knees down, coming into table. Allow the knees to splay wide. Big toes touch. Sink it back for child's pose. Breathing here. Allowing our belly to be nice and soft. Full and complete rounds of breath. Side to side a little bit. Allowing 
gentle pressure on the forehead, the third eye to clear any cloudiness. Trying to find some clarity in the mind. Gently come to stillness. Take one more full round of breath. Exhale, gently rise up to our neutral table. Sweep the legs to one side. Allow your sits bones to find the earth. And allow your torso to relax down. Preparing for Shavasana. So allowing yourself to relax all the way down to the earth. We'll meet you there in a second. All right. Relaxing all the way down. Torso relaxes down, arms extend long, legs extend long. Awesome. Take a moment, squeeze the knees in, give yourself a nice big hug, rock side to side. Thank you. Thank your body. Thank yourself for showing up today, dedicating this time to yourself. It is so very, very important. Awesome, gently come to stillness. Slowing down the rocking. We'll come into Happy Baby as our final posture before we reach our actual final posture of Shavasana. So bend the knees, grab onto the toes. Happy Baby. Pulling, actively pulling the knees in toward the armpits if you'd like you can Play around, extend one leg long, extend both legs long. Maybe rock side to side, try not to hit anything around you. <laughs> Just gently massaging the low back, opening up our hips, stretching out the legs a little bit before we relax all the way down. Awesome, take one more full round of breath, allowing yourself to into your stillness and have to be. Exhale, bend the knees. One more last big hug. Inhale. Exhale. Allow the legs to extend long. Shavasana, you made it. Uh, walk the feet apart a little bit. Allow the feet to fall open if you need to grab any propage, any support. So you can relax a little bit more in your shavasana and your shavasana. Please feel free to do that at this point in time. Allow the arms to extend long, palm up. Or you can maybe walk them away from the torso, giving the shoulders a little bit more space. Take a couple deeper breaths or a couple full rounds of breath. Again, just noticing all of the space we've created. We've managed to wring out any tension and relief from the detox of the torso. Just noticing how we feel at the end of this beautiful practice. So allow the eyes to close. Take maybe one more nice big sigh. And allow your breath to return to its, to its normal, organic, natural rhythm. No effort there. If your mind begins to wander with loving kindness, acknowledge whatever thought has popped up. and then send it on its way. Feel your bones beautifully supported. Notice, little by little, your muscles beginning to relax. Any warmth 
sensations there. Allow the muscles of the face to relax. The brow. The eyelids. The jaw. And the lips. Maybe even allow the wrist part. The tongue to be nice and heavy. You can even relax the throat. Gradually letting go. Little by little. Allowing any excess tension draining it away. Breathing only light and love, presence, and peace. You are exactly where you are meant to be. Only when you feel complete, you can begin introducing motion back into your body in whatever way feels best for you by taking a couple nice big sighs, by maybe wiggling fingers and toes, maybe swallowing, clearing your throat. Maybe taking a nice full body stretch, being mindful of whatever water or coffee you might be around or objects. Just taking a full body stretch to come back into this space. Only when you feel ready and complete, you can roll over onto whatever side is calling you. Taking a moment, squeezing your knees in toward your chest. Taking a full round of breath here. And when you're ready, gently rising up into a seated position, taking your time. <clears throat> awesome, we will close out this practice with hands at heart center. Maybe take a moment, think about what part of you, physically, mentally, emotionally, feels the most at ease right now? Could be a finger, could be a muscle in the face, anything at all. Just settle on that. What feels most relaxed right now? Throughout the rest of your day or your, your week, I will ask you to if you are feeling stressed, maybe return to that sensation, to that feeling of relaxation, peace, and calm. All right, take a nice slow inhale to seal in this practice. Exhale and bow, Jai Bhagwan, Hoi and Lee, honor to the light and each and every one of you. Thank you so much for joining. I hope it was a good, good start to our week.